Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever gaining experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. In the previous episode, we finally unlocked this adamant crossbow and it gives us access to those Emerald Bolt C, which means we can poison all the brothers, slowly kill them down with poison, which is really, really OP. It means we can kill any of the six brothers at this low combat, but it is very, very slow. So we're gonna finally work on a few of our other stats. We wanna get our attack up. 30 unlocks like battle staffs and all, which should be class for the account later on. Smoke battle staff gives you unlimited fire runes, unlimited air runes, which would be really, really handy. Oh, there's him poison, so now I can just tick off and let him die. But yeah, if we get the battle staffs out of the way, that's the first thing we need out of attack. But for part of our dream gear is a good spec weapon. I'm thinking like dragon claws for killing arms and maybe for killing krills the odd time. So we need to get 60 plus attack eventually. Even higher would be better just for accuracy and stuff, but yeah, we're gonna start that. I've been putting it off for a while because I know how slow it'll be at these low levels. But first we're gonna do another six kill trip, see if we can manage to get lucky. We could get a good item out of the way. There's 47 range coming in. It's been flying up since we got that Dorgish and crossbow. Yeah, good to have that out of the way. And here we are with the Torag's kill. So we've killed four brothers already, just two more to find. And there's Guthin's poisoned in the room though which is quite annoying you have to poison him twice and quite low food so hopefully we can get him a second time he's nearly halfway so just going for the second poison here uh shit <laughs> two of them it's really annoying when that happens they both spawn there and stack me for 26 damage so yeah we'll head back over try to find him again oh that's handy so yeah looted all our gear restocked managed to kill Guthans and then I was running about just looking for Rax and he just came in the second room so that's good hopefully we can get him killed without running out of food as well actually shit we're a bit low on food oh crap nearly died again right so in this room there is a ladder I'm not actually sure where it is though oh I'd love to get him killed before running out of food 15 HP, nice got him stuck behind the invisible ladder there so that's good kill him off this will be our second Oh, there's 49 magic. This here will be our second all six brothers kill trip. So good chance of getting an item here. Might actually have to bank first. Yeah, I got hit down and skeletons can hit 10. So decide just to bank. No point in dying halfway through the tunnel. Let's head back in here. Can we get lucky in our second full borrows chest? Oof, a lot of runes. 45k almost, but no, no items. But that's alright. Gonna head back out here, get geared up for a bit of melee training. And then we're gonna start on this. We're only 5 attack and 1 strength, so it's gonna be very slow, but has to be done. I might actually sell the Mystic Top. I'd like to get like a Warrior Ring or something. I'm trying to think if I have enough money without it. Yeah, I do, but then I'm low on Borrows tabs as well. And low pots. Yeah, I think I'll still have to sell the Mystic Top just for teleports. Just to go to and from. But nothing really else I can sell, so yeah. Mystic Top's not really that important, because if they're trapped down the bottom, accuracy isn't that important. So yeah, sell that. Buy another 20 Borrows tabs. I like to have a few in the bank just for going back if I die down there, you know? Uh, I don't think I need that many stamina's actually. Bringing loads of food because we're training melee, we'll be taking a lot of damage from the monsters while we're like standing in the rally range. So here we go, we're kicking this one off with 5 attack, 1 strength, and our goal is to get up past 30. I have no idea how long it'll take, but I assume a couple of hours, like, definitely not going to be quick because they're going to be really inaccurate to start. And then we're also just going to be hitting really low because we're only 1. There's 2 strength coming in, I'll just speed this up times 50, we'll see how long it takes to get a level. And there we are coming in with three strength you're looking at about three or four minutes for each level which isn't too bad but i suppose these are the lowest levels not much xp there's level six attack i figure if i get the attack up a wee bit will be more accurate there's seven attack two two five total level as well eight attack and yeah we'll do a couple of strength levels now bought a load more food and brought over a load more attack pots and a steel halberd because what i'm going to do is just sit train up strength through the ladder whilst to edit videos it's just a good afk way of training you can just get in combat and it'll stay hitting them for like four or five minutes so yeah sped this up a good bit and here we are coming close to four strength and i'll be using this method just while i'm editing or while i'm working on the herbie wars and the other account to get a couple of levels out of the way whilst we're not like having to put in full attention 
there's four strength five strength coming in and here we are coming in with six strength actually starting to hit like threes and fours with this halberd pretty good so i'm going to leave these playing in the background all this melee training while i chat these about dream gear most of the like highest possible non iron men have seen run about borrows are wearing like full ancestral with a trident spectral spear shield and all that but i don't think i'm going to go down that route i think you'd take a lot of damage in that you'd have to bank you'd have to pick up a load of food what i'm going to aim for is full justice shiar armor it's way worse magic like offensive it's minus 77 or something really bad magic offensive but if i wear it with like a malediction ward trident and then eternal boots i'll actually have a positive magic bonus and you don't need much magic bonus at all it borrows to hit on all the four brothers and then it'll take so little damage that if i wear that with a regain bracelet or something i'll just be able to do unlimited borrows trips without ever banking because that'll heal me 2 hp every minute and then i bring like half an inventory of stamina pots to keep my run energy up maybe a couple of purple sweets just for extra heals and they give 10 run energy every time you click them as well you'll also get that new serpentine what is it called sangolini staff there's a picture of it on the screen i can't really pronounce it but it heals one in every six hits it's very expensive to use though because you use a load of blood runes and everything so you wouldn't use it all the time you'd still use the trident but i've got low health i could switch it keep my hp full the whole time never happen to bank and i think that would actually work out about a similar speed to the full ancestral just because the speed you're making up in damage with the full ancestral is countered out by the amount of times you have to go to the bank get loads of food and stuff because you've only getting like a couple of extra seconds to kill time they don't have that much hp I and mean, when you can actually do a load of damage you kill them in a couple of seconds anyway there's only one other option i'm considering that'll definitely try along the way and that's black salamander because it's much slower but the same thing if you can tank them if you're not taking much damage you'll be able to kill them with the black salamander and it costs almost nothing in supplies like the harlander towers are at the minute two gp each so i could do the 10,000 trips without using any money and supplies so every single thing i make from the chest would just be 100 percent profit whereas if i use the trident every single attack you're burning through like 250 gp or something which adds up over the time like you probably use maybe 100 casts now i suppose if you have high damage you might use 50 casts every single trip so that's like 12 and a half k it's taking most of your profit out of your chest really if most of the rune chests are about 50k each so it's something to consider i'm not sure how much slower to be but I'm, once i get to that stage where i can use all these items it'll be a long way down the line but then i'll test out the two of them see how much quicker it is and then like calculate whether it's worth going for the slower method if it makes more money overall like the salamander is actually pretty strong too if you have that imbued heart you know the thing that you can boost your magic levels every seven minutes the max gear i'm thinking of getting is going to be stupid expensive like 150 mil if one full justice year regan bracelet eternal boots uh, what cape i'll probably just have to stick with obi cape because i have no other i can't like go and do a fire cape it's not borrows only so i think it'll be obi cape for the cape slot then probably bolt racks in the ammo slot just to save an inventory spot so we'll have the four runes in the inventory with all the staminas then need a spec weapon probably d claws and butte heart to boost the magic a lot of these max hits of the black salamander whenever you're boosted if you're like 95 plus you're using imbued heart you can get like 24s 25s if you get up to 99 you can boost up and the max with the black salamander is 27s and borrows brothers are only a hit 100 hit points so if you maxed every time you could kill them in four hits but more likely it'll be using like five or six maybe seven to kill a borrows brother whereas if you're using the trident it's only a couple of seconds quicker and it's free well pretty much free black salamander anyway we cleared 20 attack there unlocked mithril got ourselves a mythi ha mithril halberd <laughs> in the background we've just been smashing through the attack and strength levels there's chest 50 out of the way just 10k in it and we're actually starting to hit pretty consistently now that we've got past 20 there's 25 attack coming in sold a few pie dishes got goosins lured and there's 45 hit points so still flying up in the hit points there's chest 51 just like a couple of blood runes and there we are with 28 attack 29 attack here comes a really big one. Oh, chest first there's 20k chest 52 we're very close now to 30 attack and that'll unlock adamant scimitar which would be really good for training but more importantly battle staffs they'll be classing this count later on i think from 75 magic all the way up to 90 plus it will be using fire wave because it does more damage than the trident does at a low level especially if you stack it with a tomb of fire then you can do like 50 percent more damage you can hit like mid 40s with the fire staff or with the smoke battle staff sorry and fire wave i think trident's only really worth using if you've got like 90 plus magic just the way it's damage scales 
It is fast and does a bit of damage, but it's 75 I wouldn't bother with. There we go, 30 attack coming in. Battle staffs have been unlocked. Took us a long time training that, but good to have it out of the way. There's chest 53. I think at 59 I'll try to get enough money to get the smoke battle staff. It's like 3 mil though, so it's pretty expensive. We're nowhere near at the minute. We bought ourselves the adamant scimitar. We're gonna do a few more runs, get a bit more cash, and then we might try to get our hands on either the mist battle staff or the dust battle staff. So there, there's three real useful ones. The smoke battle staff's obviously the best, because once you get up into the high spells, you know, like waves and surges it uses a load of elemental runes loads of air runes and that gets quite expensive if you're using that spell loads sorry for all the rant in this one i've just been doing loads of theory craft in the account what's the best way to complete the 10,000 chests and make the most profit from it there's chest 54 coming in 11.5k so just getting like 10k each in the past few chests but still getting load levels out of the way we're actually close to having 30 attack strength and 30 plus defense which would be good Having high attack and strength would be useful later on because we'll be able to use it to train defense efficiently as well. Using long range just isn't really fast, it's a very slow way of training and just wouldn't really work if I want 75 plus defense eventually. So having this melee grind out of the way is going to be class. Here we are buying our steam battle staff. Sorry, mist battle staff we went for. It's the one that gives you unlimited airs and waters and because we have unlocked water blast We'll be able to use it now with just death runes so that'll save us a load of money we'll make loads more profit while we're over there we'll not have to buy any more air runes and we're getting very close to 30 plus base in all combat stats 30 plus mage range attack strength and defense getting really well not strong but definitely getting a lot better so here we are coming in with 30 strength 100 xp off boom ah no not yet there we go, 30 strength, 30 base out of the way, that's class. So I'm going to actually get this defense level real quick because we're only 620 XP off. Then we're going to leave this one here. We've went up like 54 levels, 55 levels, plus this one actually, 56 melee levels in one video. That's class, loads and loads of training, a lot of time went in training these low stats and these here monsters. Not as exciting as some of the videos, but definitely had to get out of the way. In the next one, we'll now be able to level up, get 40 plus defense, and lock full rune. And that'll be our first actual decent armor that could maybe tank some of the brothers. So hopefully we can get that out of the way and get an item. I can't believe we've not got one yet, like 11 videos in, 10 videos in. Yeah, thanks all for watching anyway. Really enjoying this series. Hope you're enjoying it too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.